All right, everybody, welcome back. Episode 21. It's going to be season number 20 for the NBA 2K20 career sim, the LeBron James clones. It's myself, Ben Raza, Dave Lochran. Although you wouldn't really know that Lafay is a part of this if you just look at our standings. This could be it. Uh, I'm not going to be surprised if one of us retires after this particular season. Uh, I think it's pretty much over as a contest. Ben is looking like he's going to end up with the best career. But we're still playing it out. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Here's a quick recap of where we stand heading into season 20. Alrighty, so last season was a bit of a weird one. Ben put up 31, doubled me up. Uh, Luffy got a full zero. We're getting to the end of our rope. I am down by 53 points. So my only real shot now is for Ben to retire and for me to play out one additional year and maybe even grab a ring that I don't deserve. That's, what's go that's what it's gonna take. For Laffy, uh, just secure one last paycheck, maybe. I think that'll be best for you. Anyway, it's season number 20. We're diving in right now. All right, so for the Spurs, Calbert Anderson, Roman Gornev, Ben Raza, Mark Lloyd, Mirko Petrovic is now the center for the Spurs. With that other starting four, you should be pretty used to it. They're still solid, 3-1 and one, uh, to start the season. I, I expect Ben to be good. Johan Fredrickson's an 82. Senso Avante probably should be starting, 82. Dustin Neal, 81. They've got an eight-man rotation. Uh, I think that they should be fine heading into the playoffs if they get there. Um, I'm still nervous about the Spurs. All right, for the Blazers, Gerard Gill starting at point guard. Roy Stevens is a 77 overall shooting guard. He's been here for a while, but it's not great. Uh, myself at small forward, Noah Benson at power forward playing up a spot and then reed gregory 83 overall we're two and two i'm expecting to flirt with 500 i just don't think we have it adrian parker 81 brett hughes 81 ian underwood 80 i think we're like a half step behind ben and the spurs evan mobley still here i just don't think we're gonna have enough uh we're gonna need a major deal finally the jazz three and one to start uh it's weird if they had anyone other than Laffy, like, and I don't mean this as a dig, but if they had like 95 or 93 overall Laffy, like myself or Ben instead of 86, they're not bad. Like Laffy's not even the best guy on the team anymore. Steven Moncrief is an 89 center. Austin Hammonds is an 84. Laffy solid 86. Karan Brand is an 84. If they can fill that Chris Dudley shooting guard spot, the they have like a really nice starting five that they could just... If Mike D'Antoni was the coach, maybe the Jazz could be good, but it falls off a cliff. High 70s. It's just year after year of missed draft pick and missed draft pick. Amantidis is there. Uh, sorry you have to play out your career like this, but man, the, if the Jazz can acquire a little bit of depth, they could get really scary. This is what we'll get used to now. Western Conference Player of the Month, Theodore Valentine, Melvin Ferguson on the Eastern side. Looks like the days of Ben and I swapping that back and forth are long over. Time for All-Stars. Team Melvin, Team Theodore. No surprises. Ben is the first pick from Theodore Valentine. I am the first pick from Melvin Ferguson. And it does not appear that Dave Lochran is anywhere to be found. Laffy and I both 19-time All-Stars. No one else in double digits. Uh, it's just a different league right now. All right, so we're at the halfway point. Uh, Blazers, 28-20. and 20. Good enough. Spurs, actually, 22-27. and 27. Jazz, 16-33. and 33. Uh, Right now, it's looking like the Blazers would be the only team to make the playoffs in the West. Spurs are going to need to go on a bit of a run. They, have, they do have a neutral point differential, so they are a little bit better than what their record shows. Should be an interesting home stretch. Ben scoring 26 and a half a game. I am scoring 23.8. So, eh, you know, it's all the same there. Ben just keeps scoring more than me. Well, uh, in mid-January, a second rounder, along with my boy Amantidis, went out to the Magic for Jonathan Beasley. Eh. Jazz then flipped Jonathan Beasley a month later for Josh Webster and a second rounder. Well done. Spurs flipped Edward Olsen in a second rounder for Tyrone Fletcher. Aw, oh, that one makes me sad. Evan Mobley traded by the Blazers to m the Heat for Mingyu Lee. Oh, that was the last deal that went through, too. 
Pour one out for Evan Mobley, man. So I signed a two-year extension, or at least a one-year extension. Uh, ben did not, so he's potentially a free agent this offseason. Or he'll retire. Melvin Ferguson, MVP, shot 50% from three. That's insanity. Mirko Petrovic, uh, rookie of the year for the Spurs. 19, nine, and two and a half. Not a great year from three, but still. Rookie of the year, seventh overall pick in 2038. Kudos. Archie Drew, sixth man of the year for the Jazz, 16 and eight. That's fun. Ulf Fredrickson, defensive player of the year. One steal and 1.8 blocks. Carlton Simon, most improved, eight and nine. Eh. Mason Yee, coach of the year. Uh, no sign of us on the main squad of all NBA. Ben makes second team because of course he does. And I don't make third team. That stings. No sign of us on the first team defense or second team defense. Ooh, totally forgot about this. I don't think it happened last year. So see, uh, see, the weekend's screwing me up. I can't remember if this happened Thursday or Friday. I'm almost happened, almost positive it happened Friday. Uh, no longer have conferences. So everybody's seeded one to 16. I am the nine seed. I get Dallas in the first round. Ben is the 14 seed. He gets Chicago on the opposite side. So who the hell knows who's going to end up as the champ here. Bulls lead 3-1. Blazers lead 3-1. Choked it away. Got outscored 25-9 in the second quarter after putting up 46 in the first quarter. I'm going to... I'm going to choke this series away. I know it's coming. That'll do it for the Spurs. They go home in five games. Ben, 17-9-5 on the way out the door. Could that be Ben Raz's last game in a San Antonio Spurs uniform? There we go. Blazers moving on to the second round. 124-121 W. Put up 45 in the fourth quarter from the Mavs, but wasn't enough. Engelman finishes 22-5-4. We're heading to the second round. Got a date with the number one overall seeded Cleveland Cavaliers. 86, 83. Oh, uh, second man, uh, Dino Raja again. Nice to see you. Dion Best, 94 overall. Will Hickson, Joey Ramsey, Jose Ramirez, 80. Oh my God. This seems really good. Uh, I assume I'm going, I, see him, I assume I'm going home here. Yeah, down 3-1. Felt pretty good when I won, uh, Game two, but oh well. Oh yeah, that'll do it. That's the end of it. Portland Trailblazers get beat by 40 on their way out. Engelman finishes with 32, but he was minus 27 for the game. Two of 11 from three. I mean, I'm just happy to make the second round. We weren't going to be that good. Toronto Raptors with Jackie Garnett. The four seed overall. Pick up the NBA title. My boy's not still there, unfortunately. Another year in the books. All right, this is pretty big. I have no idea if anybody's going to retire. Will we see my name, Laffy's name, or Ben's name in the retirement? And that will do it. Pack it in. That is the end of the career for Mr. Dave Lochran. Uh Evan Mobley as well. So two jazz guys packing it in right now. Uh, Laffy, 19 years pro. Wasn't going to get there at all, that's for sure. Um, just a, a rough career for Laffy. It just couldn't get it done from a team perspective. 15-time All-Star. One individual first-team All-NBA award. Just couldn't pass myself and Ben. Six-time second team. Five-time third team. He was an all-defensive first team. One time. Finished Second team all defense eight times. Oh my god. 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay, so he went one, two, three, four, five straight years and seven of eight. And obviously, first team all rookie. He made a staggering amount of money. Career high in a game, 61 points. Ooh, wait. Oh, I had 22. Okay, got it. Uh, he made 23 field goals in a game, nine threes in a game. He shot 28 free throws in a game once, uh, also made 24, 19 boards, 17 rebounds, played 55 minutes in a game once. What a career. Oh, and that is the end of the career of Ryan Bosch. Ryan Bosch, uh, three-time MVP, five-time NBA champion, 11-time All-Star, eight-time first-team All-NBA player, uh, just another legend. Absolute legend. Gotta clap it up for him right here. Hall of Fame inductee Ryan Bosch and Dave Lochran. Um, you know, Bosch obviously had the, the better accolades. Uh, Laffy played quite a bit more games, averaged more points. So kudos to Mr. Dave Lochran.
for being in the NBA Hall of Fame. Ben and I, still playing. Lafayette plays 20 years with the Jazz, gets his jersey hung in the rafters, as does Ryan Bosch and Cade Cunningham for Orlando Magic. League meetings, nothing happens. The number one pick is de decided through an elimination tournament. Remaining picks are determined by team record. I'm approving this for this year just so we could see it once. No realignment. Draft lottery. Jazz, I'm sure. Gonna get something decent. Okay, so the Jazz have the third best odds. Wow, the Kings were good this year. Or at least good enough. Uh, they get a chance at the number one pick. Nobody else making a move big time. Can the Jazz get it? Nope, they fall to six because the world hates Utah. Luke Wallace, now the head coach of the Jazz. It was Trey Young. Is that real? Did I see that? Okay, so they had Trey Young, and I guess they fired him. Does anybody have Trey Young? Tim Duncan's the head coach of the Pistons. All right, Spurs. Still Doug Levingston. Nothing interesting on my end. Does anybody have Trey Young? Uh, the Bucks have head coach Zion Williamson now, so there's that. Wow, that's weird. The Hawks have Joel Embiid as their head coach. For some reason, I don't feel like these guys are going to keep those jobs in real life. All right, Jazz take Darius Grant, small forward, power forward, three-level score, 75 overall, straight out of high school, A potential, comps to Rick Fox. Spurs take Claude Hicks, 23-year-old power forward from Alabama that comps to Serge Ibaka, B potential, not great. Blazers take Al O'Neal, Shaq's son. 6'5", 21-year-old from DePaul, can shoot the rock, A-, minus. Marco Bellinelli, I'll take it at that point. All right, will I leave, or will Ben leave San Antonio? That's the big uh, the big question now. I forgot I re-signed, which sucks. Uh, Jazz give, so this is the new signing, now that Lafayette is gone, four years, 260 million to Russ Hickman, 94 overall shooting guard. Uh, they don't have anything else right now, but Russ Hickman is now the dude. 32 years old, former second overall pick. What did he average last year? 22, four and four for Atlanta last year. Well, good luck with that, Russ. Ben re-signs, one year deal, 54 million. So it's looking like Ben and I are gonna play out the entire strings in the same, uh, for the same team. And then for the Blazers, center Reed Gregory gets four years, 128 million, nothing else. Super interesting. Player progressions. Engelman down three to a 90 overall, 39 years old. Still have 27 badges. Uh, Gerard Gill, 86 plus two. Benson Torres ACL, 84 overall. That sucks. 84 overall for Reed Gregory, who just got paid. Um, Christos Giannou, up three to an 80. That's nice. Brett Hughes down one. Ian Underwood down one. Trent Thorpe up three. That's about it for interesting stuff. Ben down three to a 92. Calbert Anderson down two to an 84. Uh, Mirko Petrovic off the rookie of the year, up one only, but 82 overall, as is Johan Fredrickson. Gornev drops two. Mark Lloyd down two to a 79. Cupboard's kind of bare there. And uh, I don't have to go to the Jazz anymore because Lafayette retired. But Hickman's a 94. Jazz are still going to be bad. All righty, let's sum it up. Uh, not much to look at for the individual season stuff, so I'll just go straight to the, the full summary. Lafayette gets a zero and is retired. I should probably highlight that. Ben takes the win in the season. Uh, second team All-NBA pretty much carried everything there. I didn't have any other awards. I just simply made the All-Star team as a starter. So did Ben. We both made the playoffs. Ben got the bonus points for being the leader in points per game. But 17 to 7, that is my lowest score yet. Um, that's kind of a bummer. Ben extends his lead. He leads by 63. Fully expecting tomorrow's video, uh, which will be season number 21, will be the finale in this exercise. I don't get the sense that Ben and I are going to be sticking around much longer after that. So thank you for joining me. Uh, you got to come back for tomorrow to see us all out where uh, our careers will end. And as best I can tell, Ben will be the winner after a 21-year career in San Antonio. Like button, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the morning.